Hi, my name is Chrissy Grassini. I'm the mobility manager for Battle Creek Transit, and we are in Battle Creek Transit storage garage where we house most of our vehicles. Battle Creek Transit is not unique to this CDL shortage. This is a nationwide shortage that we are dealing with. Um, in fact, more than 71% of the transit agencies across the nation are also having to make service cuts due to the CDL shortage. Um, in thinking about our area and other agencies in Michigan, both Kalamazoo Metro and DDOT has also announced service cuts, Kalamazoo Metro being within the last month that they have had to make additional service cuts to um, the service that they provide. DDOT um, continues to make service cut and at last reporting record I had heard they had over a hundred vacant CDL positions. Um, a thing to remember when we talk about our agency versus Kalamazoo or DDOT is to always remember our size. Battle Creek is a small transit agency so the service level that we provide is much smaller than say Kalamazoo or DDOT. So when they're making service cuts you're seeing um, maybe mess, less vehicles that are operating or less frequency on their routes, whereas when we are making service cuts, you are seeing a direct impact to our community and the service we provide by actually not seeing any service during those hours. Over the last couple of years, we've really seen a decline in individuals who are interested in operating fixed route buses. Post-pandemic, we are seeing even more in a decline of individuals being interested in this position, possibly due to the fact or the amount of in-person contact that these positions require. Also, it's interesting to note that the average age for a personal person who operates a fixed route vehicle in the United States is 53 years old. So as these individuals um, continue to age or get closer to retirement or even retire, we have less interest in those positions coming into the new current workforce. Um, so that's always been a struggle, is getting new interest in these positions um, and having individuals choose public transit as their career. Uh, we also are federally and state subsidized, so we have federal regulations with our DOT physicals and our drug and alcohol testing that we are required to abide by, and we are seeing less applications come through that meet those requirements. All Battle Creek Transit drivers are represented by a union. They're in the ATU union. Um, all of our wages here at Transit are negotiated by our union. Um, our, our drivers are actually not in a negotiating period where we could currently change their wages. However, um, it is something that they could potentially look at in future contracts when they are up for negotiation. Also, Battle Creek Transit is subsidized by federal and state funds, and those funds that we receive are for operating expenses. We are unable to use those um, operation dollars for any kind of bonuses or incentives to recruit new, new employees. So our drivers have been working 14-hour days five days a week. Um, our drivers are physically and mentally burnt out. Uh, the changes that we are making in regards to our service is to provide a little bit of relief to our current workforce. Um, although we know these changes are frustrating to our community, they are important changes that we need to make in order to continue to provide safe transportation for our community. Due to this continued shortage, Battle Creek Transit is having to look at new ways to service our community. Um, one of the vehicles behind me is our BC GO vehicle. Uh, we have opened up positions available for our non-CDL positions, which would be drivers who would operate vehicles like this that don't require a CDL, just a chauffeur's license. Um, so we're currently accepting applications for those. Um, those positions are also, we have the ability to onboard a little bit faster, get them on the road. So as we continue to work through this CDL shortage, we will be able to increase some of our other non-CDL vehicles that are currently out in the community and kind of pick up some of the slack that our fixed route isn't able to provide right now. Individuals can then choose a different option of public transportation to meet their needs. Our passengers are frustrated. Um, these service cuts we know impact your ability to, to get to work, to get to doctor's appointments, to get to social activities. Um, we've heard from parents that they're concerned on how their children are going to get home from school um, with reduced fixed route service hours. Um, we know all of those impacts that we are making when we reduce the service and we are diligently working to fill these positions to recruit CDL drivers in any ways possible, to advertise our positions, um, to share the important information about working for the City of Battle Creek and the service that you provide by being a transit operator. Um, we've had the opportunity over the last couple of days to sit downtown um, to actually engage with the riders of our public transit system, 
see where they're using it to, to see if we could help plan their trip for them um, with these reduced hours and also share some of the other services that we provide. We found that many of our riders understand our frustrations. They know that we're working for this service. Um, and more importantly, I think they know that, that we're here because we want to serve the public. We want to get you to the destinations and the resources that you need. Um, and we know that public transit is vital in the success of our community. And we truly are working to rebuild our fixed route system to get more drivers and get service back to our community. TAC is a countywide transportation authority. Um, TAC would increase the number of micro transit systems or our minivans that are operating throughout the entire county. Uh, the fixed route shortage that we're currently experiencing is due to CDL drivers, not the drivers who would access some of our, or operate some of our micro transit system throughout the county. While TAC does still include fixed route in Battle Creek, so we will continue with our efforts to fill these positions and to get our fixed route service back to regular operating, um, TAC is going to specialize in micro transit. Um, and launching those vehicles throughout the community. So as we continue those initiatives and we work towards a countywide transportation authority, um, we are not limited by resources because we do have a more significant amount of interest in applications for our non-CDL positions. Overall, TAC is going to provide additional access to our community. Access that's going to remain um, affordable, reliable, and accessible for our community. So if you've been impacted by our fixed route service changes, please look into our other transportation options that we have. Battle Creek Transit operates BC Go, which is a door-to-door -door micro transit system that operates throughout the entire county. You can book a trip on that by calling our dispatch office at 966-3474 or simply by downloading the BC Go Calhoun County app and you can book from your smartphone. We also have Teletransit, which is a door-to-door -door service that operates throughout the Battle Creek area. That's a pre-scheduled service, so give our dispatchers a call at 269-966-3474.